welcome or welcome back to my little film and TV channel and we have an animated film to have a look at today. Yes, one that's was delayed through COVID for a couple of years, but it's out. It's been out for a month or two now uh, in cinemas and will soon be available to buy and rent and be, down, be able to stream as well. We're going to have a look as at the 12th of July 2022. We're going to have a look at the Bob's Burger movie, Bob's Burgers movie, hour and 42 minutes, PG rating. Animated adventure musical comedy. Yes, the musical part. I do like musicals, but um, I don't know. I'll talk about that later anyway. It's based on the animated series, of course, Bob's Burgers. I think it's, it does nine seasons, has it? I'm not a big follower. Uh, I have dipped in and out and quite enjoyed it, but it's not something I, I thought I'd wait on the edge of my seat to watch. Directed by the series creators, Lauren Bouchard. And uh, yeah, Bernard Derryman. Yes, all good. That's a good name, isn't it? In their feature directorial debuts, well, Bernard bit anyway. Written by Bouchard. And when I saw it, actually, I thought I put my own name in it one time when I looked at it, copied and pasted something. So uh, yeah, very confusing. Uh, in their feature directorial debuts, written by Bouchard and Nora Smith, produced by Janelle Marbury Neely, Bouchard and Smith as well. And is it the 13th of July? Yes, I've, I've looked, I watched it on the 12th of July. I'm recording this on the 13th of July, 9 a.m. These are the scores. Yeah, Joe Public, Rotten Tomatoes audience, 4.4 out of 5. That's not too bad, is it? 8.8 .8 out of 10. Instant Movie Database, again, very, very good. I've ignored the 10 out of 10s and 1 out of 10s, but overall it's getting 7.3 out of 10. It's based on 6,161 scores and reviews when I'm doing this. 4,314 scored between 6 and 9, and just 516 between 2 and 5. So an 89% positivity. We'll have some of that. The original voice cast from the series reprised their roles, including H. John Benjamin, Dan Mintz, Eugene Merman, Larry Murphy, John Roberts, Kristen Shale, David Wayne, Zach Gill. Galifianicus, is that it? And Kevin Klein. There we go. Okay, well, no Kevin Klein. Uh, and what's it about? Well, obviously, it's Bob, isn't it? Bob and his family, they struggle. They struggle. Some the mean bank uh, want their loan. They want their loan paid back within about a week, I think. And then all of a sudden, the sinkhole appears in front of the restaurant and people can't get in it unless they go through the back alley. But, hey, that's another thing. So, obviously, the story's about that and the knock-on effect. Released by 20th Century Studios, of course, in the US on May the 27th, 22. So uh, two or three weeks uh, before I'm doing this, this vlog, it's obviously in the UK as well. The film was actually dedicated to character designer Dave Creek and Matt Painter, Denise, and Matt, sorry, and Matt Painter, and Matt Painter, Denise Fuller, my apologies, both of whom died, died sadly prior to its release. The critics, yeah, let's have a look at the critics and then a bit more detail. Some of the critics, Rotten Tomatoes, 87% positivity, 141 reviews. That's not bad, is it? Average rating of 7 out of 10, we'll take that. 123 fresh and 18 rotten. The consensus, the Bob's Burgers movie offers all the heart, humour and clever callbacks that fans of the show will be looking for while remaining an entertaining entry point for the converted. Absolutely, don't disagree with that one iota. Metacritic, 75 out of 100, based on... 35 critics that's fine 50 to 83 it scores so the lowest was 50 we'll have a look at that in a minute and the highest was 83 now right, here are some of the critics themselves edward porter he writes for the times here in the uk he was fresh on rotten tomatoes and gave this three out of five but it was slightly critical as well in this feature length helping he says the plain visual style and the jabbering humor become a little exhausting partly because the storyline with bob and his family trying to save their burger joint from going bust is overstretched i have to agree i have to agree 75 or 80 minutes you know me and length of films even the big films even the big marvel films dc films uh, I do quibble over the length of time they're on, and you do you do wear a bit thin. And for an animated adventure, uh, uh, action comedy film like this, it should be seventy-five or eighty minutes. I don't know where they get an hour and forty minutes from. It's it's a ridiculous amount of time. So don't know why they have to drag it out. That's just my views. Let me know what you think. Clarice Loughry. She was fresh on this on Rotten Tomatoes, four out of five. She's from The Independent here in the UK. She said, the Bob's Burgers movie proves that more of the same is sometimes the very best thing. Yes, but not all, Willie Moore, please. A.A. Dowd, though, he was rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. He's from Digital Trends site. He said, on TV's Bob's Burgers, it's exquisite comfort food. 
I agree. In movie form, it's more like a heaping helping of leftovers. Bigger in portion than flavour. Yeah, again, that's pretty spot on, Mr. Dowd. Uh not enough, not enough, not enough going on to fill an hour and forty minutes, and there'll be more on that on the music side as well in a minute, which uh, didn't help for me anyway, personally. San Francisco Chronicle, though they they said they can swallow the intensity of the musical numbers. Fans of the show will feel at home with this adaptation, which is just a higher stakes version of a typical episode of Shadows. Yes, I didn't like the musical numbers. But that goes for me personally for every single comedy show I've ever watched. And that goes back to the two Ronnies when they used to do a musical bit at the end. I didn't like it. I just I've never liked it. I love comedy and I love the rest of the show. But I got bored. I got bored by the musical dance numbers. And it goes all the way through to South Park. It all goes all the way through to this Bob's Burgers film. It's just something I've never related to. The odd one, yes, the odd one's fine. I do like music. I like musical theatre. I like musicals in themselves in films. I love films. I mean, some of my favourite films are, are musicals. It's, I think they're just. it's just so poor. I think the songs are just so poor. There are exceptions. Certainly a couple in South Park I can think off the top of my head. Um, but uh, Mr Pooh's Christmas Pooh song, for instance. Yeah, there are exceptions, but no, I'm sorry. Uh, and it certainly doesn't add anything to Bob's Burgers. Anyway, I, I went on a rant there, didn't I? It's just me, me and musicals in comedy shows, animated or live, never really worked for me. Screen rant to Molly Freeman. She gave it 70 out of 100 on the Metacritic site. She said, The Bob's Burgers movie struggles to keep up the energetic pace it sets early on. It does, but overall packs in plenty of jokes and musical numbers for a fun time. <laughs> no, too long. Take out the musical numbers. It would have helped. Uh, Variety's Amy Nicholson gave it 80 on Metacritic, 80 out of 100. Nothing in here makes an argument to me on the big screen, spot on, but it's damn delightful, she said, like a fizzy soda on a hot day or a fizzy Coca-Cola or soft drink, we call them here in the UK. Uh, yes, I agree with Amy there and Variety. So just to sum up, because I've given my critique, I've not, and I won't rattle on about music again too much, uh, I have dipped in and out of the series, as I've said, I've never... I found it a nice, easy watch when I watched it, just to fill 20 minutes. If I'm doing, you know, waiting to go, you know, I've got 20 minutes before I have to go to bed to get up early at 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'll, I'll watch a Bob's Burgers just to lighten, lighten the thing. In the same way, I'd watch um, all the other classics, uh, you know, the South Parks and all, all the other American Dads and things like this. I like, you know, an animation for me is just 20 minutes fun. This is a lot lighter, of course, than any of those I've just quoted. I mean, anyone new to it, yeah, give it a watch. If you like it, go back and watch the series. I'll definitely go back and watching some episodes when I get a chance now, now that I've watched the film again. It's just too long. Uh, break it down and you've got four okay watchable episodes, but it's not enough for an hour and 40 minute film. Take out the music, would have been better. Too long, definitely too long, but it's a critique, but I still enjoyed it. I still thought it was okay. It was a nice watch. As I said, I watched them. I sort of stopped them, you know, uh, it's the sort of thing you can stop and put. If you buy it on DVD or Blu-ray, you can just stop and pause it after 20 minutes. Go do something else, come back and watch another 20 minutes. It's probably better that way, and that's how it should be with this, I think. So, But I am going to give it a good score because I found it very watchable. I found it just a nice watch, 6.5 out of 10 for me. So let me know what you think, guys. I'm being a bit critical there. Are the musical bits the best bit? for you and everything else is rubbish I mean I remember again harping on back to not the 9 o'clock news a classic British satirical political nighttime thing that used to be on back in the 80s and the 90s and they always had one song thing at the end and again I love the show but that, again, one or two of the songs are okay but I just I just found it ruined the whole thing so anyway that's, let me know let me know what you think about that musicals and comedy shows let me know on dance routines etc let me know what you think. I just think 99% of the time, uh, pointless and just ruin the ruin the whole effect. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, uh, I'm glad I got that rant off me, off me, off me, uh, off out, out myself. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.